best game expansions of all time. Ever since the early days of PC gaming, expansion packs have allowed us to enjoy more of our favorite titles long after the credits have rolled. Some expansions let us pick up where we left off with our favorite characters from games like The Witcher and Mass Effect, while others stand alone as their own memorable self-contained adventures. From Sonic and Knuckles to StarCraft, here are our favorite expansions that make some of the best games ever made even better. Lair of the Shadow Broker was the first Mass Effect add-on that proved to be every bit as essential as the core games themselves. This three-hour adventure lets you reunite with your former squadmate, and possibly ex-lover, Lyartsuni, who's on a mission to rescue an old friend from the mysterious Shadow Broker. Lair of the Shadow Broker has some of the best dialogue, action and environments you'll find in the entire Mass Effect trilogy, and it helped cement Lyara as one of the franchise's most beloved characters. More important, your choices in this DLC have an effect on Mass Effect 3. Mike Andronico credit, yay why Ledward Kenway's swashbuckling lifestyle was entertaining, his story lacked the gravitas of the previous entry. Ubisoft fixed this by releasing Freedom Cry, which can be played as an expansion or a standalone title. In Freedom Cry, you play as Adelweo, a former slave turned assassin, as he attempts to bring freedom to Haitian slaves while carrying out his assassin's missions. The further into the game you progress, the more you learn the true cost of freedom. Sherry L. Smith credit, Ubisoft although Baldur's Gate 2, Throne of Baal is technically an expansion, it's also the definitive conclusion to the Baldur's Gate saga. After the events of the first two games, your party has drawn a lot of attention, and not always from the right people. A cabal of demigods aims to hunt you down, and only a mysterious wizard named Melissa stands in their way if you can trust her. Not only did Throne of Baal add a new class, Wild Mage, and raise the level cap in this classic RPG series, but it provided a satisfying ending for your unique player character and all of your beloved party members. Marshall on or off credit, Interplay Entertainment Although Geralt of Rivia has been a fantasy novel favorite in Poland for decades, it wasn't until the video game adaptation in 2007 that audiences worldwide fell in love with The Witcher. Over the course of three games, gamers followed the adventures of the White Wolf, from foiling assassins in the city of Vizima to a climactic confrontation against the Wild Hunt. Blood and Wine was the second and final expansion for The Witcher 3, and it wrapped up Geralt's adventures beautifully. Exploring the gorgeous new region of Tisan, Geralt's adventures ended with morally complicated quests, climactic confrontations against fearsome beasts, and a surprisingly sweet, romantic coda. Marshall on or off credit, CD Projekt Red while Bioshock 2 failed to garner the acclaim of the original, its Minerva's Den expansion stands alone as one of the most beloved stories in the entire franchise. You explore a new side of rapture as you unravel the twisted story behind the thinker, a powerful supercomputer that controls much of the city. On top of delivering powerful story surprises, Minerva's Den also gives you a ton of fun new combat toys to play with, such as the Ion Laser and Gravity Well. The key minds behind Minerva's Den went on to form the Fulbright Co., a studio responsible for beloved narrative games Gone Home and Tacoma. Mike Andronico credit, 2K Games Dragon Age, Origins, Awakening felt like an expansion pack to a 90s PC RPG, in the best way possible. Picking up right where Origins left off, Awakening let you import your character and equipment, then start on a whole new adventure, with a whole new party, in a whole new region, against a whole new adversary. Awakening featured the same kind of difficult moral choices as the core game as well as tougher enemies, a higher level cap and multiple endings, depending on your late game decisions. Better still, Awakening's events had characters and consequences that carried over into Dragon Age 2. Dash Marshall on or off credit, EA Attila the Hun. El Cid. Montezuma. These three historical giants don't have much in common, except that they made a real-time strategy classic even better. Age of Empires 2. The Conquerors was an expansion for Age of Empires 2, The Age of Kings. As the title suggested, your goal this time wasn't just to make history, 
it was to reshape the great empires of Europe, Asia and the New World. In addition to four original campaigns, the Conquerors gave players more multiplayer maps, a variety of game modes and five new civilizations, the Aztecs, Huns, Koreans, Mahunes and Spanish. Marshall on or off credit, Microsoft.